Testing one, two. Testing one, two, three. Welcome back, everyone. This is Shane. I've been gone for a while, but I'm back with a new series tonight called Google Spreadsheets. Uh, many of you have been asking for this uh, in your comments. That, and by the way, the comments you've been leaving are wonderful. Thank you so much. They give me inspiration to continue doing this. I wish I could do it more often. Uh, I do have a full-time job and a full-time life, and that does keep me occupied quite quite a bit. Um, but I have seen this 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 request bubble to the top of all the great comments that I get, and uh, doing this doing a Google spreadsheet tutorial series seems logical the logical next step in our continued education of of, of learning um, why Google well first of all Google's free uh, all you need is a Google Gmail account and with it you have access to Google Drive which allows you to create a Google spreadsheet we'll get into that in a second um, second reason Google why Google well you have access anywhere the spreadsheet doesn't have to be saved to your local computer um, because it's in Google Drive it's shared it's, it's stored in the cloud and anywhere you have an internet connection you have access to your files so that's awesome uh, the third killer part about Google Spreadsheets is sharing uh, you can create a spreadsheet and share it with your family, whether it be your brother, your sister, your daughter, your, your mom, your dad, your best friend, your business partner, halfway around the world. You can share a document with them and you can both edit that document at the same time. And you can see what each other is doing as they're doing it. So collaboration is incredible in Google uh, Documents not just spreadsheet but all Google documents they, they allow um, global collaboration uh, any, anywhere uh, the person is sitting at as long as they have an internet connection um, so let's jump in real quick um, we'll create a new spreadsheet again like I said before um, really all you need is uh, a Gmail account and that I have here uh, you can see here I just have a few emails showing uh, once you have your Gmail account you can come over here to the right and you'll see these nine little dots and if you click on that it's going to drop down a menu and you have all these applications that Google offers for free but our focus is going to be Google Drive and I'm not going to spend too much time talking about Google Drive other than the fact that Google Drive is what they call a cloud drive it lives in the cloud it is not st stored locally on your computer sitting in your laptop or on your iPad it is stored in Google's cloud and anywhere you have access to the internet uh, you can log into your Google account and access your drive and with that you have access to all your files so we're going to create a new spreadsheet just go with a new and go down and click Google Sheets and that brings us into a new spreadsheet now notice what it did at the top I'm in a web browser I'm using Chrome that's my favorite browser uh, you can use any browser you want to Safari works fine uh, Internet Explorer works fine I'm in Chrome that's just my personal preference uh, but once I cl click on a new document it creates an untitled spreadsheet and uh, I can create multiple spreadsheets I can go back to my drive tab click new again click Google Sheets and notice now I have two untitled spreadsheets uh, so that's kind of how the Google world works um, I want to close one of these out and let's go ahead and re let's rename this spreadsheet I'm simply going to click on the title up here and call this vid1 uh, Google intro and enter so now we have a title if I go back to my drive tab notice what happens the new document pops right into the view and there we go it shows me my new file I just created and the cool part about Google is as I'm making changes here in the spreadsheet it is saving them live as we type so I can immediately close this without doing anything 
go right back into it by double clicking and sure enough it saved all my changes so again this is Google spreadsheet uh, we're gonna stop the video here uh, we're gonna have many many more videos coming up in the Google spreadsheet series uh, thank you for your continued support uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, look forward to a new series and sharing some more knowledge with each of you we'll talk to you soon Testing one two. Testing one two three.